everything we put our hands to do. You know the devil always comes. That's why, Lord, I'm consoling you. Should this work be done? Oh. Just the way I feel. I wanna know: Am I even doing your will? Your will. If not, I'll just keep still. Now that's a very important point. Do you take her? Because when you take her, you are taking her from them. That means that at best, his name will be hyphenated if not dropped. And before you take my daughter's name, my name of my daughter, I got to know you mean what you say. Because my name got her through college. And my name got her this far. And my name got her her first car. And my name has covered her all her life. And you ain't going to just walk up here and take her and not mean it. Your name has got to mean it. Good God. Don't play with me here. I got to know you mean it. You ain't going to drop my name and then drop her. Do you take her for better or for worse? Do you take her for richer or for poorer? Do you take her in sickness and sin? Or are you going to just take her to something better comes along and you're going to take that? Because if you're going to do that, then get out my face. You can't have her. She needs to be just as safe as you with you as she was with them. Do you take her? Yeah. Will you take her when her breasts are reduced or they're cut off to save her life? Will you take her when you have to push her around in a wheelchair? Will you take her when she loses her mind and she doesn't even recognize who you are? Will you take her for better or for worse? Forever. Will you love her to death? That's what marriage is. This ain't no game. Can I trust you? Forever. Or is it based on my performance? I perform in the bedroom, perform in the boardroom, bring the money home. Does his muscles have to be like the old boyfriend's muscles? Or do you take him just as he is forever? And then can we be naked and not ashamed? Can I tell you what I've been hiding from everybody else? Can you handle what they did to me when I was too little to protect myself? I don't know who I'm talking to in here. And can you handle that? See, some of y'all in these little petty relationships, you ain't got no commitment. You with the woman till she don't make you happy no more. Marriage is forever. You hear what I'm saying? Little punk commitments we make it. It's forever. When it says I take you, that means I got you. Y'all can go home. You need to be say, you need to say, I got you. Every man in here need to be look at his wife and say, I got you. I didn't just take you, I got you. I didn't just take you. I, I took you, but I got you. I got you forever. Okay, it's snowing, everybody, here in Detroit. Happy holiday. It's snowing. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. 
and it, what is it? Fire, fire, so it's delightful. fire is so delightful. And this is the place to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Oh. And for shopping. Oh, that goes. That one is a big one? Yeah, that's nice. Oh, man. I'm all about Michael Kors bling. Bling. Oh, Pick me up a couple of time pieces today. Yeah, because it's Christmas time. And the season has begun. Woo! And I'm looking at trees. I don't even celebrate Christmas, but I'm just looking. <laughs> I'm just curious. How much is a tree? Let's go back here and look. I still enjoy this season. Those of you who know me, new to my channel, I was raised a Jehovah's Witness. Hi! How much is a tree? How much is a tree? It, it varies. Uh, 60, 65, the yellow ones on this size. Uh -huh. 55, the red ones. Oh, that's a good price. And, and, but this one runs up to 140. Well, they're big. The green and, and, and this kind of yellow. They are different brands, though. They are called nobles. They yeah, keep, it takes they, a lot of years. Thick leaves. Thick leaves. And, and those is skinny leaves. Skinny leaves, but oh, I see. Both of them last Christmas. They're a different brand. What's the name of this lot? Uh, uh, across the flower shop in the end. Uh huh. And the uh -huh. thing is, it's right yeah, up. it's okay. It's okay. The, the, thing is right up the flower shop. shop. <laughs> thank you. you. Get a yeah, thank you so much. A week ago. I purchased some asparagus and I took a few spears out and made some broth. But I, um, after rinsing it, I just didn't refrigerate it. I just allowed it to sit on the counter a week ago. And when I purchased it, all the spears look like the spears here. I took a few out and this is what happened. I guess my energy is good. <laughs> I think I can grow things. I know I can grow things. And you can grow things too. All I did is sit it out. And now for the last three days, it's been in water. And it's uh, grown even more. And I just flipped the water at night. And by the morning, it has absorbed the water. You know you can grow your own food, and, and this is my first time doing it like this. I've grown green onions before, which grows really fast and really well. I can take these young shoots off and eat them, and I think they'll keep growing. I know they'll keep growing, but let's see how far this goes. This is a week. Don't refrigerate your asparagus. Keep your food growing. Love you guys. This is deserve this. If you see me happy, just leave me alone. I deserve this. I
super excited right now you can tell from the way i sound right i recently got this automatic can sealer from abutex food equipment and when i was getting it they told me it could seal up a can in two seconds i did not believe it all until i got here and i tested it guys it worked two seconds and i decided to show you the magic so i have my empty cans here i have my cover here i'm just going to pour in some water into this can now seal and drop it here carefully and I'm just going to press start now guys can you see it worked it worked like magic let's do the second one too in case you are still doubting two seconds just two seconds two seconds you can get yours from Abutex food equipment and other industrial kitchen equipment Tell them you are from Shefty so you can get a massive discount. Thank you for watching. Bye. Damn. You really didn't make me no food. Did you make me your wife? What? It's not rhetorical. Did you make me your wife? No, you know I didn't. So you should know I didn't make you no food. Damn.